float switch testing with microcontroller. We have the solid state relay here, Arduino Uno microcontroller here, and we have a uh, low power float switch here. So as you can see, there's a bobber right here, and it's designed when uh, immersed in water, this uh, bobber is going to go up when the water level goes above the, uh, above the bobber's position here. And a little test run can be viewed here. So as you can see, the bobber goes up and down depending on where the water level is. And as such, the resistance between the two wires connected to this low power float switch uh, become zero and practically infinite. So, uh, the relay is connected to a uh, male plug and a female plug. The female plug connected to the heat gun here and the male plug connected via the core reel to the power source. Uh, we want to be grounding the case itself, the aluminum, as you can see by an alligator clip to the side for safety. And let's have a go at it. Close off the case. Let's turn on the power to the microcontroller. All right, that should be good. And now turn on the power to the relay and to the relay to the heat gun. There we go. And now we try to, we know that the bobber is in the down position and that means the resistance between the wires is actually practically zero. So we should get the heat gun operational. Success. And now we will immerse the bobber inside the cup of water Make sure you have a container surrounding this cup of water, otherwise splashes around your electronics, not going to be very safe. And now the bobber is up, and that means the resistance between the low power float, just, low, low power float switches to wires, these two, should be practically infinite, which means that the microcontroller senses that and turns off the solid state relay by turning off the trigger voltage, and now the heat gun should not activate. And it does not, so success.